Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for mCreator. Today we're going to be covering um, another um, basically setting based tutorial. This one's going to be covering dependencies, a little bit different, still has a little bit to do with procedures, but it's more setting based. So um, with dependencies, uh, basically things we like procedures and stuff will have these tags above or just below the, the name itself. So say on block right clicked, uh, it has uh, the X, Y, and Z uh, dependencies, world dependency, entity, and direction dependencies. So uh, we would have to use only dependencies with those specific tags or the procedure won't be able to link to the um, this actual uh, basically trigger. So basically to create a dependency it's uh, straightforward i already have one set up so i'm just going to quickly select that we'll edit it and uh now if we clear all this um what i'm going to describe is uh basically what we have is we can use x y and z world entity and direction so right now on the left hand side under local variables, there is required dependencies. Now these are the dependencies that your uh, procedure that you're currently working on uh, will be using. So when you're creating your procedures, you have to make sure that it follows the same, um, same basically uh, dependencies in this uh, tag format here. So you can use any of these things or any procedure block that uses these dependencies. So if we go to world management and then place down say, um, uh, we'll place down explode at and then we're going to drag that to our uh, main procedure and then as you can see here we just added uh, four dependencies to this particular thing here our procedure itself so what we're basically using at the moment is X Y and Z dependencies and then a world dependency uh, if we go to the entities tab and say we add a potion effect to the player so when the player right clicks on the block it will explode and say we'll give them a potion of say um uh let's say instant health or health boost or something like that and as you can see over here on the dependencies now we also have a entity dependency because we're now doing something with entities um if we were to add something like a item stack dependency if we scroll down to here and uh, we'll select uh, set damage to provided item and then drop that on as you can see now it says uh, if you change the dependencies it will always say that new dependencies are added and basically make sure that it's compatible but um, because the right click on block only has direction entity world x y and z dependencies item stack isn't on that list, it won't be able to be used for that particular procedure trigger. So we can't use dependencies that are in that particular, or that are in that particular uh, dependency for that procedure trigger. Um, another thing that you can do is uh, under the advanced tab, I'm not so familiar with this, but I did talk to the developers on the, basically what these three um, dependencies and what they do is basically allow you to add uh, or change and do other things with dependencies so as long as the dependencies that you're using for uh, these tags uh, like the blocks themselves uh, fall under the same dependencies for your um, you're basically your trigger, then they should work fine. So as you can see here, we have the X tag, uh, or X dependency, Y dependency, and Z per dependency. What we could do is we could do a lowercase X and delete this. And as you can see, the dependency for X just went away. And if we place that on, then it also adds the X dependency up here. So we could do things like X, Y, and Z dependency. I'm not sure what it would do. I haven't had time to test it, but uh, this would still 
fall and uh, basically work with the trigger that uh, we're currently working on. So as you can see, it has X, Y, and Z dependencies now, but we're using a number dependency for our X, Y, and Z. So um, maybe play around with that, figure out how it all works. Uh, let me know in the comments how that all works and I'll be interesting to see how this could be used in other procedures. Um, outside of that, um, that's all that I have time for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.